7.30, 92.1 WROI, WROIFM.com. We are streaming audio live on RTC Channel 5 and streaming audio and video live on RTC Channel 4. Hello again, Scott. Good morning, sir. Uh, Scott's back in the studio with us today. And on your smartphone or Android device, you can download the TuneIn Radio app. Take us wherever you happen to be going. And by the way, right now it's 50 degrees. Stick belts are outside the window on 8th Street. Ooh, 50 degrees. 50 that's, degrees it is. That's, that's my right. limit on biking. Is it? Yeah. Okay. If it's above 50, I'll bike. You're okay. I'm okay. All right. Well, high tomorrow's 51, so you'll be all right. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> Tomorrow is Saturday. You'll be one degree up, right? Yeah, right. Dick Belcher here from First Federal Savings Bank. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Scott. Good morning, sir. Uh, we, we've had enough rain for a while, right, Glenn? Yes. <laughs> okay, we've got Glenn Bodie here, local farmer and head of the uh, Woodlawn Foundation. Excellent. So we're going to talk to them a little later on. Good to get some young blood going yeah. in there, right? I, I see uh, Dina says there's a bison in our county. Ah. Yeah. Members of the Akron Area Arts League will be paint the bison to depict Fulton County to honor Indiana's bicentennial. Excellent idea. Just out there uh, Tuesday with the update. So uh, there's paint on it, and we'll get that on RTC this weekend. You will. I will. <laughs> now, are you going to have a have it jumping? Or just standing, the bison. The bison is just standing. Well, but on the, the, <laughs> on the Indiana uh, seal, it's jumping. Let him get it painted, and we'll make it jump. Okay. <clears throat> these are the these are the dinner table discussions we need to have later on, right? <laughs> Moving right along, I see <laughs> the library has a new interim director, Andrea Steinbach. Yep. Welcome to her. Congratulations. And I see uh, uh, Mr. Trump and Mr. Paul Ryan had a little uh, meeting yesterday. <laughs> How little was it, I wonder? I don't know. <laughs> Nobody's saying a lot so, of that. So uh, Trump says, I'll make you vice president if you get on my bandwagon. Well, but he says, I've already run for vice president. I don't want to do that again. Okay, so it'll be, uh, it's going to be Hillary and Bernie then. Battling it out. Battling it out. Boy, Bernie doesn't give up, does he? No, he doesn't. Whew. He's, He's tenacious. Tight. He's a tenacious. Yes, tight. he is. Okay, now there's going to be a gravestone pre uh, preservation workshop tomorrow. Okay. Out at the Sand Hill Cemetery. Now, are you interested in... Uh, Cemetery preservation for Fulton County. I really haven't thought too much about. Well, it. you should. Okay, it's important. Uh, as of this morning, I will start working okay, on that. Okay. Yeah, this is a free workshop. They cover topics uh, for uh, providing material on how to care for, clean, and restore old gravestones. Okay. You don't seem to be very excited. About Why? Well, I, I am. I'm just building. <laughs> my enthusiasm is building. You know, okay. by the end of the show today, my enthusiasm will be over the over the okay. moon. Really. All right. Having said all that, here's the trivia. <laughs> okay. Okay. How many uh, cemeteries are there in Fulton County? Mm. 12, 28, or 55? Wow. I need to work on that for a yeah, while. You got any ideas, Deb? <laughs> no. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't. Okay. Rochester girls softball team defeated Plymouth la uh, last night. Uh, they are now 15 and 3. Had a good season. Playing well. Yeah. Sectional comes up a week from, uh, well, not next week, but the week after. Yeah. Okay, some upcoming events. The Indiana Pinto Horse Association's annual spring show begins at 8 a.m. tomorrow and continues throughout the day at the Fulton County 4-H Equestrian Center. The show uh, resumes at 8 a.m. on Sunday. That's a nice center. They have a lot of activities out there. A lot of things happening yes. out there. Rochester Cub Scouts Pack 3212 sells barbecue chicken 11 to 2 Saturday in the parking lot of Dollar General. Okay. Robert Peterson and Arnie Snipes, who both served in the Korean War, will speak at 1 o'clock Sunday at the Fulton County Museum. Veterans will be recognizing, recognized during the meeting and refreshments will be served. 
I know both of those gentlemen, and I've heard a lot of their stories, and uh, I'm sure that'll be an interesting yes, it will. Uh, thing. The annual Optimus Club Memorial Day breakfast is Monday, May 30th, from uh, 7 to 11 a.m. at the 4 H Fairgrounds. An annual event. Good event. Good event. If you're around, you can get out there and see, right. all, see all your friends and neighbors. <clears throat> Joe's Hope Relay for the Life for Life Team uh, Car Wash is 9 to 2 Saturday at Superior Auto, 302 East 9th Street, further identified by being right across the street from the First Federal. <laughs> That's the easy way to find mm -hmm. it, isn't it? Rochester Senior Parent Pack <coughs> Breakfast is at 7 a.m. May 27th. Okay. It's always a nice event. School events, uh, schools coming to an end, yeah. huh? Uh, Fulton County Relay for Life teams will be in the Walmart uh, parking lot 10 to 6, May 21st, for a Carnival. Also May 21st, the town of Akron will have its 17th annual community-wide garage sale. So, Excellent. You know, going to be busy. Busy May. Yeah. Okay, how about some flowers this morning? Let's give some flowers to the DNR. Uh, for their jumping right on this hydrilla situation yeah. out at the out at the lake, what was that four or five years ago? I think at least that long ago. Yes, they were uh, studying it again uh, earlier this week. They were out there. I understand that they were, and uh, it, it, that hydrilla is really uh, d difficult to control, but they've done a really good job of it. Okay, in money news, uh, Dow closed at 17,721. Yesterday it was up nine. It's like a it's like a roller coaster. Up sure there. is. Puerto Rico's in debt. They're 70 billion in debt. We'll help them out. <laughs> Somewhere along the line, we'll help them out, right? You know what the population of Puerto Rico is? No. 3.6 million. Is that all? You know what the uh, U.S. Uh, indebtedness is no 19 trillion trillion 19 trillion right that's a lot of zeros yeah we talked about that last right. week how many zeros right. it was and it was so many I forgot <laughs> <laughs> like it's 12 just can't keep up with it <clears throat> you know Glenn how many zeros <laughs> I think it's write it down there you figure it out. <laughs> okay oh Apple continues to drop you know, there was, they were the most valuable company. They dropped below Google yesterday. Right. Go, uh, Google's $499 billion. I think they could squeeze out another. You'd think so, up, yeah. Up to 500 And Apple now is 494 Oil closed at $46. Okay. So we're seeing things happen. Come on down to First Federal today. We're open until uh, 5 o'clock, um, and tomorrow we're open at 8.30 to noon. Uh, follow, follow us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Get a lot of pictures on there. Good, good. Tell us how good we are. Do they uh, take pictures like into your office and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. It reminds me of I, I, I was with a bunch of bankers at... Uh, Washington D.C. lobbying a few years ago when uh, now Governor Pence was a representative there, okay. and we called on him. There were seven or eight of us. Took really bombarded him with some of the banking issues. So we got ready to leave and he said, wait, wait. Called in the photographer. He says, when I get famous, you'll want a picture of this. <laughs> and you have it still. I do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's buried right under Reagan and a few other <laughs> See. <laughs> I thought that was interesting. <clears throat> well, he he's running for governor. Uh, he, I know. He's came out campaigning. Came out guns firing. <clears throat> At First Federal, uh, we have FHA loans, USA DA loans, and are th if so, if you're thinking about buying a home, talk with one of our loan originators. They can help you determine uh, if these types of loans will suit your needs. They also okay. have plain old conventional loans. So you can see Ben or John there or Bill over at our Winnemac office and uh, they can help you out. To, we offer free pre-approvals which can give you an idea of how much of a home you can afford. 
based on uh, unverified information that uh, you give us. A pre-approval is not a commitment. The final rate and commitment will be issued after final underwriting has been completed. Okay. We have to say all that stuff. I understand. That's to keep you legal. Yeah. And then you got to say that this uh, our magic number is three nine or nine or nine or twenty seven. You got to say that too. That's right. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well, we have loans and we have deposits. Yeah, we've got Mark Buva all over there that ah, can that's take right. care of uh, IRAs right. or whatever you want. So, but we do it all. We're it must here. be all. It must be all right because you kicked him upstairs. We gave him the suite. Oh. Yeah. oh. It overlooks a used car. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky guy. We tried. Yeah. We thought about letting overlook Lake Manitoba. Nah. Uh, you got you got to earn your way there. So. <laughs> yeah, okay. Deb Paxton from Woodlawn Hospital, Director of Community Relations. Welcome. We're glad to have you here. Thank We're you. We already mentioned about Glenn Bodie, who's president of the Woodlawn Foundation. So we're going to talk about uh, National Hospital Week, which was this week, and then uh, you got an event tomorrow. Pull that mic over there and uh, t tell us about what's happening tomorrow. Tomorrow we're having our annual health fair. Um, this finishes out the National Hospital Week and this is all about giving back to our community. It is in the, on the second floor in the Woodlawn classrooms. It begins at 6.30, ends at 9.30. Uh, we're doing um, the health screens, which is the lab work. Um, we're really pushing prevention, prevention, prevention. Uh, I don't know, uh, for those of you who um, get the, the newspaper, you probably saw this week that Fulton County um, Purdue Cooperative Extension received a grant um, for uh, the healthy community and Woodlawn is partnering with them. And that's one of the things that, that we're really pushing in the community is health and wellness and exercise, fitness, um, prevention in any way, nutrition. So one of the best ways uh, to stay healthy is to get your annual health screens. The coronary risk tests your cholesterol and that's not just your total cholesterol, that's your HDL and LDL ratio which is extremely important and the triglycerides which is the uh, fat in your blood. That's $25, it's normally $237 so you're getting um, 90% discount basically. Your blood sugar is another important um, prevention screen. Uh, it's an easy way to detect if you are a possible candidate for diabetes. Um, once again, the normal value of that test is $54. We're doing it for $5 tomorrow. If you're a male, um, the prostate specific antigen test is normally $252. You can get it done for $25. The coronary risk and the blood sugar test both work best um, after 12 hours of fasting. That's why we open this up so early at 6.30 so that nobody has to suffer and go hungry all day. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach starts growling by 8, so I'm one of the early birds. The health displays this year, um, Family Eye Care will be there and they'll also uh, be giving away uh, a pair of male and female sunglasses for a no drive. Way. Male <laughs> and female, what's the difference? Oh, the style, dude. Oh. <laughs> it's all about style. I did not know there were male and female sunglasses. Did you, Tom? Yeah, I did. Did you? Style-wise, yeah. yeah. Style, right. yeah. Right. yeah. Right. Oh. Lenses may be the same, but the styles mm. found Four, to be different. Four County Mental Health will be there. Um, they have some different uh, screenings available that you can just take a piece of paper, take it home. That's another uh, part uh, prevention, um, mental and emotional health. 80% uh, of your physical illness comes from stress and e emotional stress, good or bad. It, it ties back to your physical um, illnesses. So uh, mental health is extremely important and, and that's not just 
emotional. I mean, it's stre a lot of every day that we're full of stress. So there's ways to cope with stress that can ease the uh, tension that it puts on your body. Do you think we're becoming much more aware of mental health as an issue for the physical health? Oh yes, definitely. Okay. I mean, it's scientifically proven that about 80% of our um, physical ailments result from uh, stress and stress issues. Fulton County Transpo will be there. Uh, Fulton County Massage Therapy, Rhonda Hoff is going to be there with free chair massages. That's a big hit. That's one of the <laughs> things to get rid of stress, so there you go. That's right. Um, Purdue Cooperative Extension will be there. I'm not sure what they're going to be doing. It wouldn't surprise me if they don't have something there with nutrition. Uh, South Bend Medical Foundation, uh, Webb's Family Pharmacy will be there. Woodlawn Cancer Center will be there with um, different screening information um, for cancer. Diagnostic imaging will be there. Our Woodlawn Foundation will have a, a display. Uh, Maureen Neely from our Akron Medical Center. She's a family nurse practitioner. She's going to have a booth just strictly related to adult immunizations, and that will include pneumonia, shingles, uh, a whole. I I don't know what all else she's going to have, but there are a lot of. She'll have a lot of information. We'll be able to answer a lot of questions. <clears throat> Our Woodlawn Auxiliary will be displaying for the first time. They'll uh, be anxious to talk to anybody who would like to be a volunteer. And they are also um, going to have a lot of items on display from our gift shop. Um, we've, Linda Hutkins and Brenda Carlson have taken over our gift shop and we have some awesome gifts out there. So that'll be a cool. fun booth, two tables worth. Woodlawn Dietary is going to be doing a new thing and uh, pushing um, nutrition and wellness. They're going to have a yogurt bar with different toppings. It's low-fat yogurt um, and different toppings that you can use. And then uh, they'll be having some information regarding, you know, why uh, why this particular fruit or whatever is is good for you and and. Uh, so we're looking kind of forward to that. I think that will be a treat for people. The wellness screens, of course, the blood pressure is always something you want to know uh, how, you, how you're doing on that. The grip strength uh, provided by our wood lung therapy professionals, it just gives you an idea of the, the strength in your arm. They're also doing, um, normally we have Holly from our wound care center who does uh, assessment of the lower limbs. She's not able to attend, but our Woodlawn Therapy professionals are able um, to take her place on that. The lower limb, ass limb assessment, which includes LOPS, which is the loss of protective sensation. What this is, they have a monofilament and they will be, there's like 10 different um, points on, the, on your foot that if you um, have peripheral neuropathy, you will lose sensation and you may not know it. And that is what, especially if you're diabetic, there's other things that cause neuropathy, but uh, especially for diabetics, they don't realize that they've lost sensation and the, you don't check your feet. So if there's wounds there, they, uh, they can become ulcers and uh, eventually could even cause amputation. So it's something that's very necessary. It's easy, it doesn't hurt, they, they just prickle for sensation. Good test. But it is an excellent test to, to uh, see if you need further. The oxygen saturation, that's an easy, I think they use uh, the uh, finger uh, pulse oximetry. Um, once again, that just tests um, how much Oxygen is going through your bloodstream, 95 to 100 uh, is good, the, the saturation. Um, the sleep health risk assessment, smoking cessation information, spirometry, that's another good thing to test your lungs. That's very simple, you just inhale, exhale as much as you can and as fast as you can and they can tell if you're having lung problems, COPD, 
it, it's a great baseline test. All these are free. And then Bill Fraunfelder will be there to check for oral cancer. Um, and then we have free drawings. So it's a great way to get a lot of free and extremely reduced, 90% reduced basic health screens. You can spend as much time or as little time, but it's something that we do every year to give back to the community. And hopefully we'll be able to do more and more of this as we become more and more aware of prevention. Got some real bargains there. Yeah. There, yeah. It's such a bargain, I think I'll go through twice. Because <laughs> you're going to save a lot of money. That's right, saying. exactly. Right? We've had some people on this program who have actually uh, had life-saving experiences by using um, that particular service. My and, favorite uh, story, uh, and he, he's just a hero, uh, Paul Henderson. Yes, exactly he, what I was thinking about. He's the president of Great Lakes Anesthesia, and because he lived in Rochester, he worked he was our anesthesiologist for um, three weeks out of every month in the hospital every day. His right. wife was a surgery nurse and she finally said, you know, we really should go to this. Um, two or three different types of cancer he ended up having yes. and he swears he would not be alive today. He had a rough year but now I, he just got back from Thailand and Cambodia and he winters in Florida and he is living life to the fullest Excellent. and he would not be here today had he not had that screen what was it four years ago now? I think so yeah, yeah. we've had him on a couple of times yes, and he, uh, it's a great story yes indeed so uh, 6 30 to 9 30 yes you're right tomorrow morning <laughs> skip breakfast go down there and, right. and get these uh, tests uh, and uh, You'll sleep better at night. Right. 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 Deb Paxton, Director of Community Relations, thank you uh, for bringing us up to date. Now let's go over to Glenn Bodie. Glenn, you're a president of the foundation. Pull the mic over to you so we can see you better. There you go. <laughs> and uh, tell, us, tell us what's happening with the uh, Fulton County Foundation and give us a little background on the foundation. Uh, uh, What's, what they've done in the past and what they plan for the future. Well, the foundation was uh, formed out of the uh, hospital expansion back in 2007-2008 uh, where we had a lot of community participation uh, in uh, helping fund that. I think raised about 1.4 million uh, to help uh, fund the expansion of Woodlawn. And the foundation was developed out of that uh, effort so, for instance, some things that we've done in 2009, uh, the, the foundation uh, put up the recognition wall inside the, uh, uh, the hospital uh, to uh, pay tribute to those who, who gave money to the expansion. In uh, 2010, uh, we uh, funded the OB security system. In 11, we put in uh, new beds in the intensive care unit. Uh, in 2012 through current we're funding the Fulton County Transpo uh, and what that is uh, any uh, any person that's uh, needing to come to the hospital or uh, to the Akron Clinic or to the Argus, Argus Clinic uh, can ride on Fulton County Transpo at no expense uh, so if they need to get to uh, any type of uh, uh, hospital uh, visit uh, they're able to use the Transpo um, and the uh, foundation is paying for that. In 2013, uh, there were upgrades to the trail, a uh, new lighting put in, uh, so that those that uh, utilize the trail around the hospital in the evening will certainly benefit from that. In 2014, we've uh, sponsored uh, artwork that's going to be uh, hanging throughout the hospital. Uh, that's kind of a work in progress at this time. Uh, they're selecting artwork that's going to be uh, uh, put around the hospital in various places. Uh, the project that we're kind of currently working on is uh, the island out in front of the hospital. Uh, we're going to uh, do a little cleanup out there, remove some trees that are dying or maybe have been severely damaged by wind, and then uh, plant some new trees uh, that we'll be looking for uh, the community to uh, sponsor or, or uh, use as a memorial to to uh, friends. Good idea. Ones. Yep. Good idea. 
Uh, and of course the uh, the health fair that's tomorrow. Uh, we're really blessed having a, a community run hospital uh, where we the, the administration can put a lot of focus on uh, on community things and uh, so uh, as Deb explained the uh, the health fair tomorrow is, is one of the things that the foundation also sponsors. Okay now you got a golf tournament coming up tell us about that. Yeah the annual golf tournament uh, and uh, that's one of our uh, fundraisers uh, that will be Thursday, June 16th. Thursday, June 16th, right here at uh, the Round Barn Golf Club. Uh, anyone that wants to persist, participate can uh, get in contact with Deb at the hospital. Uh, we've uh, had good support with that throughout the years, and that's a great fundraiser for the foundation. Yeah, it, uh, it's filling up, Deb. You still got some slots? I have, yep. Lots of okay. room for people to okay. Want to get a team in that make nice uh, support of the hospital and have some fun. Mm -hmm. You take care of the weather and no, no rain. <laughs> no, John takes care of the <laughs> weather. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well. He... Okay, all right. Well, uh, the foundation is a great organization uh, and uh, it just goes on and and uh, you have a project, a uh, different project normally every year and now uh, this one coming up this year is replacement of a lot of trees there and so if you're interested in sponsoring one of those so it will get more information that will be coming out at a later time right right that's uh, kind of a work in progress at this time so we don't have all the specifics but we will in the coming couple months okay yep Glenn Bodie president of the Woodlawn Hospital Foundation thank you and uh, Deb Paxton director of community relations at Woodlawn Thank you for coming in and, and talking about the health fair, which is tomorrow. Starts at six thirty. Thank Thanks for keeping the community healthy. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank, We're trying. Yeah, you know, it, it, there's a, there's a little history on that uh, Purdue grant. Is uh, Fulton County uh, is not the healthiest county in the in the <laughs> in the country. <laughs> uh, high smoking rate, high obesity, and so now that Purdue's come in, they'll save us all, right? <laughs> Right. It's looking like a true boilermaker, don't you think? <laughs> okay. He's more optimistic than I am, but it's a start. It is a start. I'm happy to... Okay, we talked about gravestones, a uh, little uh, yes. Seminar, yes. Sem seminar tomorrow starting at 9 o'clock out at uh, Sand Hill uh, uh, Cemetery. How many cemeteries are there in Fulton County? 12, 28, or 55? Scott? I'm going high, 55. You're exactly right. Wow. How, did, how did you know this? Because I've never heard of Sandy Hill. You know, I figured if I hadn't heard of that one, there's a bunch more I haven't heard of. Okay. That's good logic somehow. Okay. okay. This uh, words of wisdom from Irving Berlin. Okay. Remember him? He, he, yeah. You know, he are, you gonna say, are you going to sing it for us? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me zoom in. <laughs> All right, some of the songs that he wrote were God Bless America, mm -hmm. Alexander's Ragtime Band, White Christmas, uh, Easter Parade, uh, and Putting on the Ritz. Mm -hmm. So, and he says, you know, we're getting to the meat too Right, now, I'm ready. Life is 10% what you make it and 90% how you take it. <laughs> yep. Well said. Dick Belcher, thank you very much. Deb, Glenn, Scott, as always, thank you for being here this morning on the First Federal Program. Thank you. Find your Thanks. first home? Let the experts at First Federal Savings Bank help you through the process. At First Federal, all of their mortgage loans are serviced locally with payment options that are convenient for you. Their staff will work with you answering your questions and providing professional service. First Federal will even pay standard closing costs for qualifying first-time home buyers. Just another way, First Federal takes care of you your local mortgage lender.